Well, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for December 19th through 25th. Hope you are amazing on this holiday season. Okay, so we're going to get into your general energy first, Scorpio, and see what we have 19th through 25th. Okay, we have the Hierophant. We have the Ace of Swords, and we have the King of Cups. Okay, this week. I'm seeing a little bit of confusion or wanting clarity on a structure in your life. And this could be a relationship. This could just be the rules uh, or rules that I'm getting a feeling it's like rules that you set for yourself. So you're like questioning those like. Um, am I, I feel like, am I being true to myself by following these rules? Do they need to be readjusted? Um, I, I feel like there's some opposing energy, like a person or situation that's making you rethink something this week. Okay. Um, and I, it feels like you need to be true to your heart on this one. I feel like your heart has the answer. Um with this one okay all right then we have main female adjudication and path yeah I feel like you've set rules in the past just to keep yourself safe you know it, it's one of those things like okay this is what we do this is what happens this is what this means but sometimes those need to be readjusted depending on the situation or depending on what is happening and I feel like this is one of those situations where you need to be true to yourself. You know, it, it's almost like maybe you're being unfair to the other side of things or someone else. And you need to look at a situation as a whole. I feel like this is really going to change the path forward this week when you look at those things. OK, it also I'm also getting a feeling of an awakening of sorts, just a different sense of understanding or a different way of looking at things from following your heart okay so let's see what love has healing family issues and soulmate yeah this is about following your heart Scorpio okay definitely follow your heart um, I feel like there's some old feelings old issues old uh, ways of thinking that you've been following that just don't fit you anymore that just don't fit your situation or this situation anymore king of pentacles two of wands and the eight of swords yeah this whatever this is in your love life it definitely will change the trajectory of things or what it is that you have going on in your environment you know like the structure of a relationship, the structure of your life. I feel like it would change those things. Um, sometimes we set rules and regulations and things like that to so things can make more sense, so we can be more in control. But I feel like there is something here this week that you have to make a decision on. And it has something to do with you stepping out of your comfort zone or stepping out of what you've known. Um, and putting your energy maybe in a different direction or trying something different. But it's really about you being stuck in your head about a situation and not knowing if it's for you or if it's the best situation. Yeah, this is an opportunity to either start a new relationship or regenerate one that you do have. OK, I feel like that's what's that's what's on the menu here. That's what you could have. But you have to make that decision to sort of go in that direction. OK, and I do feel like that's what you are going to do. But there's a little bit of feeling like it's kind of impulsive, especially with the Knight of Wands. It's a, a feeling of thinking that this is impulsive, you know, like this is just something that I'm feeling. This is just something that I'm thinking right now. It'll pass type of energy. Um, but it's really like self-sabotage. You know, you're holding all of this in instead of making that choice. OK, you or someone else. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. OK, money and career. We have action. And power. Wow. OK. 
Yeah. Just know that your actions, actions have consequences as well as not taking action also has consequences. Okay. This is just a very, this is very much cause and effect when it comes to your finances and your career. Okay. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, which I love, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're going to feel very impulsive this week uh, or wanting to speak your mind very quickly at work. It, it almost feels to be a little bit like being on the edge, okay? Like needing to express yourself, needing to get something across, needing to get something done, okay? But you have to think about, is it going to affect what I'm trying to start? Because I feel like you want to speak up or say something about you having a new beginning or about you. It's something that you're focused on. And it could be that you just want to start a business, right? And you're like, okay, everybody do this, do this. I have to do this. Um, but just cause and effect. Okay, so take a pause. I feel like with the Ten of Swords, it has a lot of, like you're just ready to move. So you're very kind of impulsive with the things you're doing and the things you're saying. So just step a little bit back from that. Yeah, you're definitely ready to move forward. I can see that here with the Three of Wands, right? You're ready to progress. You're ready to get started on the long term. And that's great. Um, nothing's the matter with that. Just know that you're trying to manifest something that's going to last, um, something that's going to last. So I feel like there's a feeling that you need to endure something that you're going through right now, but it doesn't stop you from manifesting what you need to move forward. Just don't, um, I feel like just don't mess up what you have to endure or stay with. Like if it's a job you have to stay in while you're trying to find something else, don't mess up the good thing that you do have. Okay. Um, as far as I see a new job coming through, I see new opportunities coming through if you want them, if you want them. Okay. But I feel like there is something that still needs to be rectified or something that still needs to be done before you get into that. Um, but I see that you're tired, you know, it's like you're tired and it may cause you to act very quickly. Okay. So Scorpio, I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.